please rise for the pledge to the flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. I'm Carter Ken. And I'm Brooke Hallinar. Today is Monday, February 19th. Coming up, we have Kyle with your weekly weather outlook. Also, it's President's Day. We'll be right back with this and all of your school news. class news. Seniors, mid-year grades are in. If you have applied to a college using the common application, you must come to the counseling office and request a mid-year report immediately. Your counselor only sends a mid-year report if you complete the request form. Juniors or seniors interested in a nursing career, Reading Hospital School of Health Sciences offers a three-day discovery nursing experience. This program limits the number of students, so if you are interested, stop in the counseling office now for more information and application materials. Any student thinking of applying to any of the military academies should, be attend, should attend a meeting on March 24th at Hamburg High School. Information will be given on the Air Force Academy, West Point Naval Academy, Merchant Marines Academy, the Coast Guard Academy, and ROTC. Pick up a flyer in the counseling office. Seniors pursuing a creative arts program including fine arts, graphic arts, photography, art education, architecture, and film can apply to the Michael Hart Architect architecture <laughs> to the I'm sorry can apply to the Michael Hartman scholarship application information is available in the counseling office and all of the art rooms please see Mrs. Gebhardt in room 307 with questions if you went to Ebenezer Elementary you are eligible for a scholarship it is due by March 2nd so stop by the counseling office the best and brightest scholarships are due March 9th stop in the counseling office to apply for this regional honor all students are eligible Juniors, it's time to start thinking about making visits to post-secondary institutions. Here are some excellent opportunities to sample what these schools have to offer. <laughs> In club news, C Club members wishing to attend the rock climbing field trip after school on February 21st must turn in their permission slips. Students and faculty not in C-Club that would like to go on the field trip should see Mrs. Kosi in room 308. Space is limited. The cost is $20. Need something to sweeten your day? See a German Club member to purchase softies, roulettes, and Toblerone chocolate bars. <laughs> Model United Nation members. Submit your permission form and money to Dr. Zaria as soon as possible for the NYC field trip on March 9th. Drama Club. If you missed the meeting but are interested in our trip to see a Broadway play, please see Mrs. Haynes to pick up the information and permission slip. Space is limited to the first 21 students who sign up. Don't delay. Save the date. Minithon will be on April 13th. Get out there and show some support. In school news, auditions for next year's concert choir will take place before school on Wednesday, February 21st. If you are interested in signing up for auditions, go to the chorus room and see Mrs. May. A forensic science symposium will be held at Cedar Crest College in Allentown on Saturday, March 24th. The all-day event is free for you and a guest to attend with lunch included, but you must register online by March 19th. See Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center. Open studio will be held after school until 4 p.m. on Tuesday this week. All of the art rooms will be open for any current CCHS student to work on visual art projects of their choice. The, the Lancaster Lanc County oh, Regional sorry. College Fair will be held on Thursday, March 15th at Millersville University from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. The Allentown Regional College Fair will be held on Wednesday, March 7th at Cedar Crest College. There will be two sessions for this event, one in the morning and one in the evening. Over 100 colleges, universities, and technical schools will be attending each of these events. No pre-registration is required for students to attend. See Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center with questions. Show your support this Friday by wearing beachwear to the school. The theme for the student section at the game will be beachwear. 
We invite you to come to the school, stay for the lock-in, and support the boys' basketball team afterwards. We hope you win some prizes at the lock-in and the boys win at basketball. In sports news, on Wednesday, the bowling team qualified for the LL League Team Championships at Rocky Springs. They faced Northern Lebanon in the opening round. The Falcons lost the first game, but battled back to win game two and force a third and final game. Unfortunately, the Falcons came up a few pins short and were eliminated from the tournament. Last Thursday, Paige Boyd won the Girls Lancaster Lebanon Singles Championship. After five games of qualifying, sophomore Paige Boyd led the field of 66 girls and advanced to the second round along with freshman Jaden Swisher. After an additional four games, Paige earned the number one seed for the stepladder finals where she would face Caitlin Musselman from Hempfield. With her teammates cheering her on, Paige made important shots toward the end of the game, including a 10th round strike to clinch the title with a score of 204 to 183. Way to go. On Friday, Colby Bennett took fourth place in the Boys LL League Singles Championship. After five games of qualifying, sophomore Colby Bennett and senior Devin Eshelman advanced on the second round. After the second round, Colby earned the fourth seed in the five-man step ladder final. In his final match, Colby defeated Mark Smith of Penn Manor 259-216. to He then faced off the number three seed, John Christ, Josh Christ of Mannheim Township. In a very close match, Colby came up nine pins short to finish in fourth place and earn a medal. Best of luck to Paige and Colby as they prepare for the District 3 tournament this Saturday. Concussion testing for high school track will be held today at 245 in room 701. Any track and field athlete needing a concussion test should report to room 701 at 2.45 p.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday this week to take your concussion test. If you're not sure if you need a concussion test, please see Coach Risser, Coach Schulteis, or Coach Wagner. Spring sports physicals and Section 7 forms for all spring sports can be turned into the athletic trainer. All physical forms are due before February 23rd, by to February 23rd. Any boys interested in being part of the tennis team this year should stop by to room 116 to see Mr. Dissinger and pick up information. And now we send it over to Kyle with your weekly weather outlook. Kyle, are we going to have more snow? Thankfully, it's going to be too warm for snow, but because of that, we're going to get rain in the forecasts. For today, we're going to get scattered showers throughout the day, but predominantly in the afternoon with a high of 45 and a low of 42. Moving into tomorrow is going to be the only dry day of this week, with clouds in the morning giving way to sunny conditions in the afternoon with a high of 68 and a low of 52. Wednesday, we're going to have cloudy skies in the morning giving way to showers in the afternoon with a high of 73 and a low of 41. And on Thursday, it's going to be light rain in the morning giving way to scattered showers in the afternoon with a high of 44 and a low of 37. That's all for your weather outlook. Back to Carter and Brooke. Can Anthony Bechtel, Alyssa Wolf, Tanner Miller, Sarah Stamen please report to room 413 immediately following this announcement? That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Brooke Hallinar. And I'm Carter Kent. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.